As we celebrate Black History Month, we're looking at the impact of two black scientists who went to Georgia Tech. One is a professor whose research may help people with sickle cell disease. 11 Alive's Don White takes a closer look at how they're making a difference. This sculpture here is called Continuing the Conversation, and this sculpture is of Rosa Parks at age 42 when she refused to give her bus seat up to a white passenger. And this is her at age 92, shortly before her death. Those here at Georgia Tech say preserving stories like hers is essential for black history to continue into the future. You can't be what you can't see. Dr. Nationally Cephas hopes to help the black community see they can be like her and work in the tech industry. That was my background at Georgia Tech as a PhD, artificial intelligence, machine learning, uh, computer vision. She's using those skills at Amazon and is giving back, creating two organizations. I went back home to Jackson, Mississippi and started the Bean Path, uh, which is a 501c3 nonprofit. Where we do free tech help. We've impacted over a thousand people in the Mississippi area in the past three years. Cephas also co-created Kit Labs in Atlanta for scientists of color to collaborate. It stands for knowledge, information, technology, and tools. And the purpose of Kit is to bring together a community of black and brown STEAM professionals so that we can impact the community, expose people to technology, and help them understand their place in the tech ecosystem. Georgia Tech graduates more black engineers than any other university in the United States. Dr. So Manu like Platt graduated from Georgia Tech and has taught in the School of Biomedical Engineering for 12 years. One out of 400 African Americans has sickle cell disease. They are in a lifetime of pain because the sickling blocks their blood vessels. Manu is working with the Sickle Cell Foundation Foundation of Georgia on research projects. One of them looks at reducing the inflammation and damage the disease causes to protect blood vessels and reduce the risk of strokes. Back in the day, I would study all these heroes that we would learn about during Black History Month. And maybe one day, soon, later, I don't know, that I'll be one of those that are studied. He runs Project Engages to encourage the next generation to find their passion for science. Next year is our 10th year where we bring black high school students, now black and Latino, from Atlanta Public Schools. Their high school students come and actually work in Georgia Tech Research Labs and we pay them. We have links to both nonprofits on our website 11alive.com. In Atlanta, I'm Dawn White, 11alive News.